Israelis. We talk a lot about how Israel is a leader in technology, including medical technology. What you might not know is that Israel is also one of the world's leaders in the field of dental implants. But for the elderly or those who have degen degenerative bone diseases, sometimes implants aren't an option. Because of that, one Israeli company has come up with an electromagnetic solution to help more people be eligible for implants and avoid bone infections. Elad Yakobsen is the COO of Magdent, and he's here to tell us more about this revolutionary product. Thanks so much for coming in. Hello, thank you. So first of all, what does Magdent do? Um, basically, what we did, we, take, we took uh, technology we know in medicine for the last 80 years that uh, electromagnetic fields stimulate bone growth. Um, it's used in orthopedics today. There are machines that you plug into the wall. Uh, it's used mostly in, mostly in cases of uh, non-union fractures. Uh, the patient comes to the clinic uh, once a day, sits for an hour with a patch on his hand. Let's say the fracture is on his hand. Uh, and the bone heals faster. Um, what we did, we took this technology, uh, we took the big machine, miniaturized it to a size of a few millimeters, uh, so we can use it in dental implants. Uh, so I see you brought something with you. Is this the, your product? Yeah, I, bought, uh, I brought a sample to show the product. Now, it looks like it's very small. Is this what makes it different from other products on the market? What you're talking about on a hand or someone's leg, it sounds like it would be something much bigger. Yeah, if you use it on a hand or a leg, uh, you have those machines which are big. Um, what we did was take the machine and make it this size. This is four uh, millimeters uh, high. That's about the size of a tooth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and this is the real breakthrough. We were the first in the world to be able to miniaturize those machines and bring the technology of electromagnetic stimulation to other fields except, uh, except orthopedics. So what is it, I see that we said it's about the size of a tooth, but this is something that gets implanted in someone's mouth? Yeah, uh, basically a dental implant is a substitute in cases that uh, you lose your tooth. Uh, this is an example for a dental implant, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it's a titanium screw that uh, the doctor screw it in sh inside your uh, jaw. Uh, and then there's a healing period of between three and six months. Uh, in this period, the bone grows around the dental implant until it holds it firmly. And uh, only then you can, uh, it's called the loading, you can put the, the abutment and the artificial tooth, and then you get your new tooth. Uh, what we do, uh, in this healing period, there is something that is called uh, a healing abutment or a, a healing cap, which is something that you screw inside the, the dental implant, like that. Uh, and this stays in the mouth for the healing period. What we did, we took the big machine, miniaturized it, and shaped it like a healing abutment. So inside this little thing, you get uh, batteries, uh, microelectronics, coils, uh, it's software, a lot of... Uh, it's like a thing. little computer, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really, it's a small computer. Uh, and this uh, creates an electromagnetic field around the dental implant. And this does uh, three things. The first thing that it does, it shortens the healing period by two-thirds. So instead of waiting six months before you can get your tooth, you can get it after two months. The second thing that it does, it enables people with uh, poor bone quality uh, People at a certain age, uh, in cases of uh, osteoporosis, people uh, that, had, uh, that have diabetes, people that had cancer radiation treatments, their bone quality becomes lower, and in some cases there, are, there aren't even candidates for implantation. Uh, this product, the second thing that it does, it improves the bone quality very significantly. So uh, this is the only solution for uh, this portion of the population that uh, right now cannot have a tooth. And the third thing that it does, which is something that we're still checking, but uh, uh, electromagnetic fields are known in medicine to suppress bacteria, uh, which is a very big thing in uh, the new uh, implantology world. This is the newest and biggest entity now. Uh, there is an infection that is called perimplantitis. All the big companies are trying to, to treat it, and uh, no one came out with a solution until now. Um, and we know that uh, this product can be the solution for the, for the infection. It's something that can happen even after a few years after the implantation. 
an infection starts around the implant. Uh, with this product, after we will finish the R&D phase, uh, you can just take out the artificial tooth and put our product, it's called the MED. Screw it inside the implant, let the patient walk for, let's say, two months with this inside. Then you, he comes back to the clinic, you take it out and put the artificial tooth again, without surgery, without any antibiotics, without anything. And this is the only treatment, this will be the only treatment in the world for this, uh, for this infection. Well, it sounds like it's going to make a difference in a lot of people's lives. We is, hope so. <laughs> I, I do too. Um, is it available everywhere? If someone wants to get this, how can they do uh, that? We're a relatively new company, uh, so we have now uh, the CE mark, which enables us, uh, this is the regulation uh, mark in uh, Europe, so we can now only sell in Europe, but we will started uh, working on uh, an FDA approval, so I think in the next two years you, you will be able to buy it in the US also. Well, it sounds like it's soon to be very widespread and a great solution. Thank you so much for coming Thank in. Thank you.